Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning, September 15th. Yeah, something like that. Rainy Portland morning, in case you can't hear that rain. We are, it's what time is it? 8.44 a.m. We're about 15 minutes later than we wanted to be, but we're headed up to my mom's to help them with some stuff, and they're going to also change the oil in the kid's car, so the kids are going to meet us up there. And, uh, yeah, we're going to spend the day up with my mom and dad, and we will film what we can, and we'll be back. Good morning. It is Monday morning and you're a little crooked. Hang on. You're still a little crooked, but that's better, I guess. Anyway, good morning. It's Monday morning, September 16th, I think. Um, 9.43 a.m. according to the computer. I'm just now logging in. I'm a little late getting started this morning. You know, I didn't have a good excuse. I was just tired. I uh, had a busy weekend. Uh, I didn't get any art done. <laughs> we spent the weekend with family, the whole weekend, uh, helping my parents out with a couple of small things and um, spending time with the kids. And yeah, busy, busy, busy. So we did that. Um, so this morning I've got to do at least three paper clips. I've got three days of drawing to do drawings to do today, and I want to do a bunch of. Um, sorry, the computer's talking to me this morning. That was the wrong thing I clicked on. Uh, and I've got to do a bunch a, a bunch of pages in the two inspiration color uh, the color inspiration journal and the art inspiration journal. So I need to do a bunch of that. And I also need to reply to YouTube comments because I haven't done that either almost the whole weekend. So that's going to be the focus of my day is catching up on all that stuff. I still have, see that right there? That's receipts, paperwork. We're going to pretend I did it already. <laughs> uh, I need to do that too this week. That's on the agenda. So let's try clicking on this browser, well, shall we? I have had my two cups of coffee and breakfast, I swear. And you can see I moisturized up you can see by the shiny bits no that's not sweat uh, and uh, yeah so let's uh, turn on the internet turn on the YouTube comments and see where we're at shall we all right I'll be back okay I don't know what time it is but I got three paper clips done I got a couple pages one in each um, of the inspiration journals done I'm going to let those dry and then do at least one more in each journal maybe two and I didn't get any paperwork done. Well, you know, I did answer all the social media, did my postings and all of that stuff. I'm gonna go now bring up the garbage cans and put them away because it's garbage day, it's Monday. And then I'm gonna eat some lunch because I'm pretty sure it's like around lunchtime somewhere. So, you know, it's at least 11.30 if not later. So, yeah, that's where we are at right now anyway. All right, I'll be back. I'm outside in the side yard. I was taking out the garbage. And it just started dumping rain. That's what that sound you hear in the background is. And it's actually lightened up a little bit. <laughs> Welcome to Portland. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I was going to try to go walking tonight when Bob got home from work, but... Um... And I don't mind walking in the rain, but not if it's a torrential downpour. <laughs> it's a little different. So let's see if it stops sometime soon. I've got about an hour and a half or so before he gets home. Maybe. We'll see. I'll be back. Weather in Portland is so weird. Now it's all but stopped raining and the sun's trying to come out. And it's literally only been 
five or ten minutes. Seriously, Portland is so weird. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday morning, September 17th, I think. Yeah, because my niece is set to have a baby any day now. And if Paxton doesn't decide to come before Thursday, he's going to be born Thursday the 19th. So that's how I know what day it is. Paxton, you need to be here already. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I am obviously headed out. I'm in the car again. I have some Etsy orders that need to go and most of them are international. So I don't feel comfortable drop, put, just putting them in the drop box. Not to mention the fact that they have the yin yang ruler uh, drawing guide set in them and um, which is selling out quickly. Yay people, thank you. Uh, I gotta figure out how to get some more made. Um, I don't feel um, comfortable putting those in the bin and um, because of the drawing guides, it's a stiff package and I don't wanna take a chance of breaking them so uh, by bending them to get them in the box. So I'm gonna go drop them off and I've gotta run a couple other areas. Okay, I'm gonna head downstairs for a bit. One of my inspiration journals only has one more page in it and then it's done and it can be permanently used as a reference book. So yay. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm working on the sky one um, um, that I started art. One is called color inspiration cause it's just all about color groupings and, and color th themes. The other one is just all about skyscapes. So um, I'm working on the skyscapes one. And I probably will start a, a third one at some point soon. I don't have any images. I want to put it in, in it immediately, but I don't see, I know me, and I don't see that lasting for very long. So anyway, things are drying, and I'm going to head downstairs now and, uh, yeah, get it done. I'll be back. Okay, I spent the morning chatting with friends and getting some paperwork done. I finally got the accounting done, woohoo! Uh, and then we had a furniture delivery. So this is our new dining room table and chairs. Let me move to away from the French doors. There we go, that's our new dining room table and chairs and it actually opens up, it has a butterfly leaf in the middle. You open it up and the leaf is in there folded and it pops out, yeah, anyway. Um, and it'll actually seat six and we do have, we only got four chairs because we do have other chairs around the house that we use when that happens. Um, and then we got a new bar cabinet here. And um, that means I have my kitchen counter, my cutting station back. So I have my cutting station back, whoops, where are we? There we are. And I cleaned out the drawer of sharp pointy things. I've got those knives on the counter that are okay for anybody to use, but the ones in here, you use them, I break your fingers. <laughs> um, unless you know what you're doing. Um, and then I moved some of the things that were in there that are kind of in the sharp pointy category, but don't necessarily need to be in the drawer. And until I can get this drawer made into an actual drawer, they'll fit in here. This is a knife drawer, but my knives don't fit in here. And I do want to have our contractor make it into an actual drawer, but he's super busy right now until I don't even know when. So that's a thing. Anyway, so that's all done. Yay! So we're all good, and we still have lots of nice open space. It's not too cluttered. I don't think um, that's what I wanted. I don't want it to be too cluttered and too crazy. I don't want that. Uh, anyway. So, uh, yeah, now I just have to figure out what I'm going to do with the wine fridge, the bane of my existence. I love it. It's useful for keeping my husband's wine stash cold, but I really don't want it in the front room. It should be out here somewhere, but then where? It's just a problem. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Good morning, it is Thursday, September 19th. I almost said October, cause yeah, anyway. It is 9.19 a.m. And uh, I obviously am in the car, I'm headed out, I need to go to the shops. 
I've got some stuff I need to pick up, including printer paper, which I'm out of. And then we have somebody coming by for an estimate on gutter cleaning and the zinc stuff on the roof for um, preventing moss growth. Roof maintenance. I'm a roof maintenance guy who hopefully works out and we can use him going forward. Um, we live next to the woods, so cleaning the gutters out at least twice a year going to be a thing. Okay, we're back home and we're upstairs. I got home and I was really hungry, so I ate an early lunch. I have been for a long time eating perfect bars in the morning with my coffee, which is a sort of high-ish calorie protein bar. Um, they're not bad for you, but they have a lot of sugar in them, and I'm just, I'm really trying to break myself of the habit. The one good thing about them is I would eat one and then I wouldn't be hungry until like one o'clock. I am noticing not having one. I have one, I have like yogurt or something with my coffee um, at 7, 7.30. And then by 11 o'clock, I'm starving. <laughs> so anyway, I had an early-ish lunch. It is 12.42. I have some blueberries downstairs for a snack in a little bit because I do find that I'm wanting sort of a mid-afternoon snack. And I'm the type of person, if there's nothing healthy in the house, I'm going to eat what's in the house. Yeah, so anyway, we try not to keep too much chocolate. Um, anyway, I'm upstairs in the art room. I'm listening to Steppenwolf's uh, Magic Carpet Ride. Um, and I um, have Pandora on. And um, I did another page in the um, art inspiration book, the Skyscapes book. So I did another page. Um, I do need to let it dry. And then I have a few more Skyscapes I need to print out and stick in here. Um... What else? I need to do a paper clip today. I haven't done that yet. I did do all my postings, though. Sorry for the weird light. We're standing underneath the ceiling fan. Um, I did, when I was out earlier, go to Michael's and picked up a few more craft paints. I like swatching the inspiration books with craft paints rather than sitting and mixing stuff. Um, when it comes to using these inspiration books in an art piece or a journal, um, if it's a journal, I'll probably use the craft paints. But if it's an art piece, like on canvas, I would take my artist paints and that page from the inspiration book and I would do my best to color mix um, from my art paints. To, like for instance, if I was using this color on, this, on the inspiration journal page, I would mix this color from my art paints, which I know how to do, but for the inspiration books, that's a lot of mixing. So I picked up a few more colors to add to my stash of things I felt I didn't have. So I didn't have enough sort of more muted um, grayed out tones not I have a lot of brights and oceany colors but I was really finding especially for this skyscapes journal that I need gray I need mute more muted tones so I did get a fire coral this is folk art fire coral I prefer folk art and deco art FYI I did get one Martha Stewart paint and I think it's her watercolor paint just because it was the right color I'm never using it for watercolor. I didn't don't see the point in having watercolor in, in a bottle That's just me. I'm just using it because it's the right color and it was the only brand that had the color I wanted um, Anyway, um, that's not one of them I got another folk art in tangerine because I needed a light orange and I also needed some sort of light sort of grayed out pinks, so that's the coral orangey pinks um, I also got another lighter pink cotton, uh, this is DecoArt's Cotton Candy. So those were my pinks that I picked. I needed some more gray blues. I have Folk Arts French Blue, which I love, and I use that one a lot. And I also have Folk Arts Blue Lullaby, which works for some of the lighter blues. Um, yeah, but I needed some other ones, so I got... Deco Arts Winter Blue, and if you put it next to the French Blue, they're almost the same color. One is uh, more in the blue tones, and one is more in the green. They're pretty close, and that wasn't this one wasn't one that was on my list. It just looked interesting, so I picked it up because you know I can't help myself. Um, this is one that I wanted. So this is Deco Art, and this is their multi surface satin. Again, for what I'm using it for, I wasn't paying any attention to what the finish was on the paint. I just want it for the color to do the swatches with. So this is their multi-surface satin. This is night sky, so it's a nice dark gray blue, which is what I was looking for. 
And then I got this sort of medium gray blue. This is DecoArt's Blue Harbor. And then I needed a dark, like foresty green. So I got DecoArt's Hauser Dark Green. And then the Martha Stewart one that I picked up because it was, I needed a light orange. Light orange and light pink were on my list. And this one is a Martha Stewart. This is a, her watercolor. Um, and this is Wild Salmon. Was the perfect light orange for what I wanted. So, yeah, those are what I got today. And I did get some tape runner because, you know, I don't know how you can be at a tape runner in an art room. I found one roll of glue dots, glue dot roller thing. I got these at Creativation a couple years ago. The glue dots people gave me a bunch of them, which is great. And I've been using them up. By the way, if you see them, these work great. They work really great. They just don't have a ton on them. And I don't know if that's because that's a sample and not the actual one you get at the store. It might be. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'm going to sit and do a few more things up here. Let this page dry, then make a paper clip and maybe go for a walk. Husband has a Masonic meeting tonight, so it's just me, myself, and Jeeves. Otherwise known as my navigation app on my phone to get me around so I don't get lost. Actually getting to the park of walking is not a problem. Getting home, sometimes I get lost. So yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I probably should grab the iPod because I'm gonna want music. Can you pretty much guarantee that? All right, hang on. And I will say also too, I do use an i. When I said iPod, I meant iPod. I think it's second generation, maybe third. I don't remember. It probably says on the back somewhere, but um, yeah, I don't have my reading glasses on. Anyway, can you see? There we go. See the dark spot? It's got like a moisture spot. It still works fine. It doesn't affect anything, but, and there, I've tried everything to get it out of there that you can think of, all the DIY hacks, nothing works. So, I don't know. At some point it's gonna probably die and I'm gonna need a new one and they don't make them like this anymore. I like this. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. All right, I'll be back. morning it is just before noon on Friday September 20th my niece is in active labor so baby Paxton my great my ne yeah great nephew um, should be here hopefully sometime today but you know labor and delivery you know different for everybody so we'll see anyway I'm you know rocking a not a great fashion statement here today but you know we're headed out to the library and actually a couple of libraries and we have to go pick up some things in the mall um, she doesn't need a party at the hospital so I'm gonna go get stuff done what I need to get done with Fred and we'll be back
And yes, Fred was shaking his head. It, I don't think you guys saw that on camera because yeah, I'm vlogging again and he's shaking his head. We also had right. Bambi visit and hang out at the house for what, an hour this morning? Yeah. But looking all, for food? Uh, looking for food. Uh, all, all, all over the place. place. All over the place. And of course, Bob finally went out in his pajamas and put corn out for her and, you know, scared her and she wandered off. Hopefully she'll come back. The bowl is full now, so maybe she'll stop eating my flowers. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. All right, we'll be back. Good Saturday morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning, September. In 700 feet. It's Saturday morning, September 21st, I think. We are headed out to go hit up a farmer's market. Um, one thrift shop I've been, I keep driving by and I'd like to go in and we're gonna find some place interesting for lunch, go on an afternoon drive. I'll bring you with us, we'll be back. guys it's just before 11 o'clock on Saturday night September 21st is that right um, our niece still hasn't had her baby yet she was induced Thursday evening and little baby Paxton our great nephew isn't here yet he's taking his time so anyway yeah we'll hope everything goes well but I guess we'll find out in the next day or so um, it's been an interesting week. Uh, next week's going to be busy, busy, busy. So I'll bring you with us when I can. Um, assuming Paxton is born in the next 24 hours, if not sooner, there's going to be family that's already planning on coming in to visit, some of which is staying with us. And so it's going to be very busy. And we have other things going on around here before then. So it's going to be crazy town. Anyway, it was a fun week and a fun day. We really enjoyed the Beaverton Farmer's Market. Um, it was the last one that they're having of the summer, but they're going to be starting a fall one. So we'll be making that a regular occurrence as often as we can, I think. Um, and that's it for today. Don't forget to check out the video description for any relevant links. My link tree list of links with all of my social media stuff and my Etsy shop in it. My happy mail address is down there and all that jazz. Check it out. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have a question, comment, or concern. And above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'm going to go to bed. I'm exhausted. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.